I had this stupid idea of buying membership for people, and I wanted to see how far they can make it into the game if I were to give them a free month on me. I'm long past the days of a tadpole who undertook challenges to survive and grow into a fully formed frog, but I have to say, it's time to retire and watch other people suffer. So the way Wizard101 works is, in order to play, you have to buy membership or unlock areas like paid DLC, and for most people, instead of paying the $200 to unlock everything, they buy into the subscription at the low cost of $10 per month, like how WoW or Final Fantasy XIV works. Besides the $10 a month, you can also buy areas separately, like a really overpriced piece of crap DLC for, I think, 240 some dollars. Yeah, people did the math for this. And the sole purpose of membership is just to have access to the story, aside from some simple generic benefits made to reel you in. Beyond these two options exists a third option that is also as egregious called the Membership Elixir, which is just a direct purchase in the game for membership. And somehow it costs more to buy the membership than it does on the website, about $6 more. As to why that is, I don't know. But fuck you for making me pay more for this experiment. Now the experiment was to see whether or not my money would disappear from my bank account for buying into this magical scam. And needless to say, the experiment for this was a success. I didn't give it to just anybody because if they already have membership, it wouldn't really do anything for them. So I gave it to new players and one way to tell whether someone is new is if they have a chat bubble next to their name. This is the mark of a newbie who hasn't been exposed to the microtransactions yet. The chat bubble signifies purity in being restricted to a filtered chat system unless you made a purchase. Then you can enable a more open chat system. At first I thought, wow, this is going really well. A lot of people are flooding in, like they were manufactured on an assembly line. I met a lot of people and I told them about my experiment because legally you have to disclose that. I'm just kidding, you don't really have to, it's not that serious, it's just a game. Some were thankful, others were confused. Leroy here, out of the bunch, was the most thankful for receiving the membership for some reason. Technically, Leroy is not a new player. He played the game a long time ago and decided to revisit this microtransaction hellhole, which I assume is what scared him off. After that, it was just down to waiting. But I can guarantee you that it did not go swimmingly. From a marketing and analytical standpoint, I actually should have saw this coming. So I waited about 3 weeks in and nobody logged in. There was one problem, 9 out of 10 people in my experience who start playing this game quit after the first day. Or even some who replay the game after a couple years quit. It doesn't mean that they quit forever, it just means that they'll come back eventually. Just like my $50 investment will come back eventually in 10 years. But I don't have 10 years to wait for this. So since the first batch of prototypes malfunctioned, I had to think a bit on what would provide the best results, so I went to where people experienced their first middle finger up the ass, called the paywall. It made the most sense to me because obviously this is where your progress would be halted due to not having membership. And I would assume since you played up to this point, you probably want to play more of it. So like I said, over the course of the month, nobody logged in, except for one person. Towards the end, I, I added someone more recently called Jazz. It's a weird name, like people who named their kid Alpha. I don't know why they're named like that, but I also don't know why they're invisible, so don't ask. It does seem as though they'll be staying and playing the game for a little bit longer. So the whole experiment by the end of it was very disappointing since only one person stuck around, but I expected it and they were able to make it past the paywall at least, so it does say something. That it wasn't entirely a waste of money. It's just a common thing where people try out a game and more often than not, it's a game that isn't for them, or they just need more time to play, but they don't want that time investment. Or they don't want a game to reel them in like a big mouth bass with microtransactions. 
which most games tend to do nowadays. I thought about what if you actually played the game for a month just to torture yourself, and I realized that if you really wanted to know how far you get in a month, you can just take a look at some of the YouTube walkthroughs. While they aren't entirely accurate because a lot of things rely on your schedule and how long you play for a day or I don't know you suck at the game, you can get an idea of how many hours it will take you to get through the story. So since there's a ton of walkthroughs on YouTube that say what's up guys, I decided to choose one of them in a playlist which encompasses about 140 levels or 84 episodes. Now I didn't add it all up manually because that'd be stupid and a fucking waste of my time so I searched Google for the YouTube playlist link. And if you want the exact amount of hours, it will take you about 8 days, 15 hours, 51 minutes, and 45 seconds to get to level 140. Or, if you want a number that's easy on the eyes, it's about 208 hours. So this means you have to work about 7 hours a day to reach level 140 in a month. This is also not max level, so unless you intend on going at it for more than 10 or 11 hours a day, it's not exactly feasible to max out in a month. And again, you won't get paid for overtime. This is all by doing it alone, which I know you're doing, so don't lie to me and say that you have friends. And in my opinion, was this experiment stupid? Yes. Did I lose money? No. I invested it in fun, and that's what all that matters. Besides, I gotta spend my AdSense money somehow, I ain't gonna spend it on anything else. Anyways, uh, subscribe if you're new, it would help me out a lot. Beyond that, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys.